Developing news tonight and the accusations uh, made against a D.C. rabbi. A class action lawsuit claims that Georgetown University, Kesher Israel Congregation, and the National Capital Mikvah all contributed to alleged abuses carried out by Bernard Freundel. A woman claims that all three organizations turned a blind eye to what she believes was very clear evidence. Jay Corfus live in Northwest Washington tonight. Jay, what warning signs is she talking about here? Well, Leon, according to this lawsuit, the rabbi, former rabbi here at Kesher Congregation, used the mikveh in a calculating and inappropriate way to lure primarily young women into this ritual pool so he could videotape them. The lawsuit claims Rabbi Barry Freundel suggested to a female law school student in his Jewish studies class at Georgetown that she write her mandatory research paper on the mikveh and then insisted she use the ritual bath which is located inside Freundel's then congregation, Kesher Israel. The suit states Freundel lured his students, congregants, and others into the sacred religious cleansing ritual of mikvah to sexually exploit the women by capturing their naked images using concealed cameras without their consent. The plaintiff is suing Georgetown and opened a class action suit against the congregation and the organization that runs the mikvah claiming the defendants turned a blind eye to obvious signs of Freundel's increasingly bizarre behavior. The suit cites Freundel urging individuals traditionally not welcome in a mikvah, including non-Jews and unmarried women, to use the mikvah, and adds that there were complaints about his inappropriate behavior toward women that went unpunished, and that he brought so many young, attractive women through the mikvah, one staff member stated he treated that mikvah like a car wash every Sunday six students at a time. I feel personally validated mm -hmm. by uh, someone sharing their story. Emma Shulovitz, who fears she was exploited while using the mikvah back in 2012, applauds the student for coming forward. She is now considering joining the class action suit. This is wonderful. It's exactly what we need. It's people coming forward and strength in numbers. Now, going back to the plaintiff in this case, uh, by the way, she got an A on that paper, according to the lawsuit, and she wrote in that paper that going to the mikvah purified her soul. The lawsuit claims that her relationship with religion is now shattered. We should note that representatives of the mikvah and the synagogue declined comment. Georgetown, though, said they are horrified by these reported allegations and behavior leveled against Freundel, and they're doing their own investigation on the matter. Live in Northwest, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Jay.